how to improve your event match quality score or EMQ and why is this so important? First of all, what's uh, event match quality score? It's something, it's a number that Meta or Facebook shows you when you uh, check your event inside Events Manager, uh, reflecting how well matching work works for server events. So it's not related to browser events, it's related only to server events. And uh, matching is key here because uh, if matching works well, Facebook is able to measure conversions and to optimize um, ad delivery. If they are not able to match an event with uh, a meta user, uh, it's very little they can do with that event. So that's why it's so important to have a, a relatively good matching score. And uh, in this video, I will explain how Pixel Your Site Professional can improve your matching score. But first, I will give you the very basic about um, what matching score needs in order to work well. And uh, if you go here in, inside your event manager, you will see this column uh, event match quality EMQ with various um, uh, scores like good or poor or great or okay. Um, and if you open, let's say, this event, uh, this form event, view details, event matching, you will see what kind of data um, Facebook gets for this event. Again, this is about server event only. Uh, and they get email, IP address, uh, user agent, phone number sometimes, FBP sometimes, and no, all of the time. Uh, sometimes they get the last name, sometimes they get the first name. And as you can see immediately, there is a problem because in order to have a good matching score, you need to send a lot of information about the person firing that event. Uh, you need to send uh, email, you need to send first name, last name, even the phone number can help. Uh, and these are quite difficult to get for all your website visitors. Uh, yes, you can get their IP address, that's pretty basic most of the time. Sometimes they can obfuscate that uh, IP address as well using a proxy. Uh, um, and sometimes you can get a FBP, which is um, a number associated with their um, pixel and it's generated by Facebook, is stored in cookies, is not always available, but in theory, it's easier to get that the other set of data. Uh, and sometimes you get the FBC, I don't have it here, FBC is associated with uh, the ad that was clicked before the visit. Uh, again, this is stored in cookies and not always available. What is always available is the IP address and the user agent, basically some information about their browser. All the extra data is difficult to get, especially for uh, simple website visitors. That's why some events like uh, page view usually have a lower score and some events like purchase have a better score because a purchase is fired by a client so chances are that you will be able to send their uh, name, phone number, uh, all this kind of data because they purchase something for, from you and you have this data when the event fires. So now that you know the basics, uh, let me tell you how Pixel Your Site works. Well, in general, we send uh, information about login users, logged in users, because that's when we can tell their name, their email addresses. And for WooCommerce and Easy Digital Download clients, because that's when we have access to uh, all this client related data. But with Pixel Site Professional, we now have a new feature that allow us to automatically track data from forms and use it with all events fire after the form was submitted. Uh, this option can be controlled from here. This is the plugins main page. We call it advanced user data detection. Uh, we can detect the email from a form. Let me show you a form. 
the plugin will try to detect email, first name, last name and phone number from such a form like this one. Uh, in order to do so, we look for form field uh, names and uh, inside the plugin, let me show you, you can see for what names we look by default. These are very uh, common names for uh, form fields. However, sometimes your form will, do, will have different names for these fields and uh, that's something you can easily fix by adding the name right here. I will show you exactly how to get the name and what to add inside the plugin in order to optimize this, this automatic data detection. But for now, let's see what different difference makes uh, in uh, when when this data is detected. Um, so these are events fired on that page containing the form before the form was submitted. This is an anonymous user a browsing a website. Um, so we have very little information very little user data keys. We just have the browser ID, the IP address and the user agent. Now I will submit that form with the default plugin settings and see if we have some extra data. So very basic things and send. Um, Pixelio site fires a form event, um, an event called forms uh, for each form submit. So we will check that particular event. It takes some time for um, the test tool to report server events. We will just wait for it. Okay. So now this event has some extra data, has the email because it was automatically detected. This will help improving your EMQ score. However, we can do better. We can help the plugin to detect the first name, the last name and the phone number. In order to do it, go back to the form and uh, we will use the browser console like this. Click right, inspect, and now we have the information about this field. Look for the field's name like this name, copy the name, go back inside the plugin. First name, paste here. Now let's do the same for last name. Again, right click, inspect, and we have the name, copy, add it inside the plugin. Okay, and now for the phone field, inspect, and that's the name, copy, go back. and save this new setup. Now, ideally we should clear our caches and um, in order to test the event, what I would do is to open the page in a new incognito window. Just to be clear, I don't have any um, caches. So I open the forms page um, and I will send it again. Okay, and let's see what Facebook gets. We need to wait for the form event. So this is the form event fired for that form and user data keys we have email, we have first name, we have last name, and we have phone. This will dramatically improve your uh, match quality score. Now, important, 
we don't track and send this data just for the form event fired after the um, form submit. We track it for we track it for all events fired once we get the data. So this one it's a time on page event we fire it automatically after um, a particular number of seconds, and again it has all this extra information about the person firing the event. Uh, if I go back to the website and I visit a different page, like the home page, uh, the events will have all this extra information about me, the person firing um, the server events. Okay, so this is a page view and it has all these uh, user data keys. Now my EMQ score will improve. Uh, Meta will be able to better match events with a Facebook or Meta user. So that's really important. And um, conversion tracking will get better. Ads delivery opti optimization will get better. Remember, this is a feature that Pixlr Site Professional has. Uh, if you use an older version of Pixlr Site, I encourage you to update your plugin. If you use the free plugin, uh, this feature is not available, so consider upgrading to our paid version. I will be uh, very happy for you for to see you doing it. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixlr Site, and uh, thank you for watching.